Hello gorgeous Rule Breaker, Courtney Johnston here from RuleBreakersClub.com and this video is all about the pricing strategy that I recommend for newer entrepreneurs. I understand from experience that starting a new business often feels like you're caught in an endless array of catch-22s. You can always get more clients when you've already had clients because you have testimonials to get the clients, but how do you actually get the first slew of clients in the first place? How do you actually get to start charging premium rates? Because can you really just come out of the gate and charge what you're worth? I want to talk about all of those things in today's video and offer up my three-part pricing strategy that I recommend for new service-based entrepreneurs. The first thing I want to address is that I think the expression charge what you're worth is total and complete bullshit. What does that mean? Charge what you're worth. It sounds really nice, right? We all want to do that. It sounds like something we should be doing that we would love doing. It would be super fun. But what does that actually mean? What are you worth? A billion, a trillion, a gazillion? I know that's what I'm worth, a gazillion. And how do you actually start charging a premium rate if you haven't had any experience before? Can you really do that? The reason why charge what you're worth doesn't work is because it's not based in the reality of human psychology. And so what I want to offer is what I recommend doing instead. When you're first starting out your business, my number one recommendation is to create two core packages. I would love for you to create a really accessible like one hour session or one week long service that most people will be able to afford if they're ready for your services and a higher end package that will bring in a little bit more revenue. This way you have a little bit of diversification that will help you to work with different types of people who are all in your target market. And if you're wondering if you can really create specific packages for your industry, the answer is absolutely yes. And I'm going to post a link below to one of my pillar blog posts, which is all about how to package up your services. The second step in my pricing strategy for new entrepreneurs is to work with a few people for free. I know there's a ton of people out there telling you don't work for free, charge what you're worth, etc. We've already addressed that the charge what you're worth thing is total BS, but here's why I believe that you should also work with three people for free when you're first getting started. You got to get those testimonials and and you've got to get momentum. The best way to do that is to go out and contact three people who you know would be a great fit for your services, package up your services, and then practice your services on those three people. The third step for you is to stair step your pricing. I believe that when you launch your paid services, you should be charging a pro rate. I don't want you to charge pennies on the dollar, but I also don't want you to go super, super high because it doesn't give you any room for growth. This is where stair stepping your pricing comes in. Pick a price that maybe is around half or three quarters of the price that you really want to charge and launch your services at that lower rate as an introductory rate. Then go ahead and raise those prices at a specified date so that you can get some clients in the door before the price goes up. I hope that this three-step pricing strategy will really help you if you're a new entrepreneur to get started. I promise you that once you get some momentum, it's way easier to maintain, but I know getting started is the hardest part. In closing, I want to read to you a quote from one of my favorite entrepreneurs, Seth Godin, who talks about how to get momentum when you're first starting a business in what he considers his favorite blog post on his blog, which has like so many blog posts. So let me read this quote to you. The blog post I point people to most is called First 10, and it is a simple theory of marketing that says, tell 10 people, show 10 people, share it with 10 people, 10 people who already trust you and already like you. If they don't tell anybody else, it's not that good and you should start over. If they do tell other people, you're on your way. I know that you're going to do great things and I will see you in the next video.